All right, if you're a teacher or a librarian, then you make lesson plans and you need to figure out the best way to keep track of all your lesson plans and maybe perhaps even find some other ones to improve all of your lessons. So what can you do? You can go to a site like PlanBoard, which I'm a big fan of, have been following for quite a while. They've gotten some big attention, as you can see some of the names down here. But they make it really simple to just put your lesson plans online and keep track of them. So you can use Evernote for something like this, uh, but I've found PlanBoard is a lot better for actual lesson plans because that's what they made it for, whereas Evernote is more of a catch-all. Uh, they basically want to have as many users as possible, but I mean, who doesn't? But in order to do that, they actually uh, make it a little less easy for lesson plan uploading. So enough about that. PlanBoard is a simple tool free unless you want to upgrade to more space and looks like this. So here's just a sample uh, lesson that I have and it, you, you can basically format it however you want. You can click on it and it'll bring up a quick little editor and you can say instead of the red pen you can say the blue pen and all you have to do is click off of it and it'll save and you can hit publish and that will publish it out so then you can share this with people and so you just hit done, it tells you that it's public, and now people can search for it if they're plain board users. So you could share it this way over here, print, PDF, email, or send the link to people. So if you want to send it to your fellow teachers or even to your students, then you can do it all directly from here. So you can click on day, week, or month. I personally find day to be easy, but week is great and the month view is pretty handy because it'll show you which days you have lesson plans all set up for. So if you're gonna call out sick or go on vacation or something, this would be a great way to update your lesson plans from a distance if you need to. Uh, the only other feature that you should definitely check out is the search. Um, so we'll just search Common Core, How's it, how about that? And you can see that it has a ton of options, so a ton of search results. So there's Common Core uh, lessons that you can certainly check out, and it has it all here, it's all about literature, um, we'll go back to our pull up our little search results and this will show us a lesson plan that we have that someone else put up. So basically it's just is talking about how to use Evernote and plan board. You can even use Edmodo with it. Uh, if you like this plan board, you can hit give it a kudos, which is kind of like just liking or hearting something. And you can also follow it by clicking follow and that will add them to your main page. So if you want to really keep up with what other people are doing, then you can use that. So kind of like Twitter, uh, you can follow people and, and like I just did, and it'll show up in your discover page. So right here. So you can see how many times people have viewed their stuff, liked it, or give it kudos as it were. Uh, you can also click on standards and that will help you out really to figure out the different kind of ways to integrate things like Common Core or mathematics for a certain area or state into your uh, lesson. So you can use uh, the codes and descriptions provided to you by your administrators. But in general, I just like to use it for lesson planning. So uh, once again, just click on that day and it'll pull it up. You can click on more. Sorry for the, the delay there. Uh, you can click on more and it'll pull up everything. So you can just start working on stuff for period two. So period two. Once you click off of it or anywhere else or just move your mouse, it'll start saving it, kind of like Google Docs. And it's as simple as that. You can also put little notes to yourself here. So that's about it. There's a lot to do with PlanBoard and it's free and it's worth a try.